So you watched my last video on five tips when buying your first luxury watch and you've decided which is the model you want to go with. Well, here are five things to check before buying that watch. Number one, make sure the watch is not a blatant fake. I mean, guys, look, not everybody's an expert and I'm not telling you to go and look at these super clones and see if that's what you're buying. What I'm telling you is if the watch looks obviously off, I mean, believe it or not, um, if it's your first watch that you're buying on your own, these are things you're gonna have to look for. If the watch clearly looks 100% off, then that's an obvious given. You know, don't go crazy over all the little details. You know, at this point, if you followed my last video, then you're obviously buying off of a reputable dealer and someone you can trust. But either way, just for the sake of doing your diligence, make sure that it's not blatantly off. A couple obvious things you wanna look for is if the watch is gold and it looks like it's fading or it doesn't have the right weight or just looks off, you know, these are clear signs, okay? Those are things you wanna look for. If you're buying an ultra luxury brand and it just seems to look very cheap, another obvious sign. Again, this is something that you're gonna have to really trust the person that you're buying it from. Do your diligence, get a receipt with the serial number. But again, I always like to start off right off the bat. Whenever I'm buying a watch, even this late in the game for me, I wanna make sure it's obviously not a fake. Two is check the overall condition of the watch. How does it look? Has it been over polished? Perhaps it's been polished incorrectly. Those are things you want to look at because one thing is maybe when they sent you pictures of the watch or maybe it's a generic photo for the advertisement of the watch. Once you actually see the watch in person, it could be a whole other story. So second is you want to check the overall condition. In addition to this, you want to make sure that everything looks right as far as the parts. For example, you don't want to buy a GMT that has a Submariner class or vice versa. Those are things that if you're in a hurry or perhaps you're just very excited to buy your first watch, you might not notice and could be costly mistakes in the end when the parts are mixed and matched. When you're purchasing an AP, for example, you wanna make sure the edges are all sharp and not overly polished where everything is rounded out and it'll take away from the iconic look of a Royal Oak. On a presidential Rolex like this one that I'm wearing right here, you want to make sure that the bracelet is not stretched out or perhaps maybe the rounded links were polished incorrect and flattened out. Number three, check the crystal. That is something that even for me, sometimes I forget and I am very psycho and OCD about the watches. You want to make sure there's no scratches, especially on the edges. One thing I want to tell you is that some watches is not a big deal. You can just go ahead and get another crystal and do a replacement. Other watches, it can be a nightmare to get that crystal replaced and it can only be done sometimes sending it back to the manufacturer. So at the time of buying is the right moment to look at the crystal and make sure that it's in good condition. When doing this step, it's also a good thing to make sure that nothing looks off, just in case maybe it has a really poor generic crystal on it. The whole idea of this is not to make your whole watch purchasing experience unpleasant, but just so you can have a look at things right before you buy. Number four is check the movement functions and make sure it's working properly. If it's a chrono, start, stop, and reset. Make sure that it resets back to zero. I always like to open up the chrono and actuate the movement, set the date, and all that. A lot of times, even watches like AP, for example, the date might not work. Many watch dealers will give you a warranty on the watch, but I would say it's always good to know that right there when you're buying it. So always actuate the movement and make sure that it's working correctly. Usually I open up the crown, just wind it up a good 15, 20 times. Just make sure everything is more or less working. You know, you don't have to go crazy and run a, a test to see how many minutes it's a delaying or if it's right perfectly to the second. But I just do a quick test just to make sure everything sounds right. If you open up the crown and you go to wind it and it sounds like, like everything is breaking inside, then clearly it might need an overhaul. And again, that's something you might be able to fix right there with the dealer that you're purchasing the watch. Number five, last but not least, make sure that if you're buying this watch and it has a warranty card or the books or papers, depending what brand it is, make sure that the serial number of the watch matches that of the papers. 
This has happened many times. Either A, they're giving you the wrong book, or even myself, I have given a person the wrong papers by mistake because I had two watches exactly the same. Luckily, I realized in time and I was able to change it, but always make sure that you're getting the correct paperwork, if you are getting paperwork, for that watch. The reason I'm saying this is that I've had more than once people buy watches brand new at their authorized dealers and have gotten the wrong cards for the watch or the papers. This has happened at least three times where I've had clients deal with long-term relationships at an authorized dealer and for whatever reason by mistake, they gave them the wrong paperwork. It's not a big deal, but they did pay full premium and you would expect to have it all. And what happens is a lot of times you go trade these watches three, four, five years later and by then it's already too late to realize you have the wrong paperwork. So these are five things that I like to use to check the watch before purchasing it. And I think all of you should use it and make it a habit. Doesn't matter whether you're a first time buyer or a seasoned expert dealer like myself. I always use these things. I just go through it, I sit there and go one by one in no particular order, but I like to check all those things because what happens is at the heat of the moment, you're excited, you finally bought the watch, you already see yourself wearing the watch, driving down the causeway with it on, and you don't remember that you should have checked all these things, and things happen. Emotions get in front of us. At the end of the day, these watch purchase experience are exciting, and sometimes we lose track of checking everything. Uh, what watch is that? This is actually a Day Day 40 in Platinum. And the best way to know that is with the Glacier Blue Dial, which obviously tells you it's Platinum. Or I can go ahead and say it's a Disposable Mask Blue. That's the way I feel about it. So comment below if there's anything else that you should check when buying a watch. And if you like this video, like and share. Also, subscribe to my channel.